passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah I'm always on go better watch your watch Hello welcome back to the channel so today I'm bringing you a DIY for some art above my bed my inspiration was um really I had no inspiration to be honest and then I was like looking at stuff on Amazon and it was really really generic so I was like I'm not really feeling it I don't want to do that so let me show you guys what I came up with and I hope you love it as much as I do and I hope it turns out great so what we have here I have a deco color like paint marker and this is like a blush pink color and then I have these connectors just go to this light system here so these are what you would call strip lights and you can actually cut them however you will need connectors in order to still have them lit if that makes sense um, I'm not sure how to use these yet um, hopefully the instructions are very helpful um, and I just wanted to have like one or two lights underneath each frame so let me go ahead and get to the rest I have a pair of scissors because that's what I'll need um, I also have a metal ruler somewhere around here but I might not need that until I actually go to hang it up so um, if you want you can definitely start off with a sketch so I might actually sketch it in first um, but this is a 25 pack of cardstock in black and this is basically going to be what the artwork is done on so let me slide that down and then right here I have a pack well this is just one but I bought a four pack off of Amazon of silver frames and I thought this would mirror the bed perfectly the bed and the lights and the um what do you call it nightstands and the mirrors because of the silver frame um originally i was going to do black but i was like let me bring some more silver into it since the artwork will be black right so um inside it actually has this square uh cut out and this is like cardstock as well which is like a really thick one so this is going to be perfect because i want the artwork that i'm doing to be contained into a little square and for it to have like a black border around it so I'm gonna use this card that's in here in order to measure out my um card stock so this is a 12 by 12 as well as the card stock and I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go ahead and get started I went on Pinterest and I found some images so I'm going to basically be freehanding some of these simple images one of these I'm actually going to put on a bigger frame and I think it's going to be that one so um, I'm gonna probably put this one on a smaller frame or this one um, I think I might do this one instead of that one not really sure um, so let me unfavorite that now I am sure <laughs> but this one is gonna be on a huge frame in between my bathroom and my uh, closet door but these are going to be on the smaller frames and if you can tell these are basically like for no more than five line drawings so it should be really simplistic and easy to do what I'm going to do with this like frame or border I'm going to take a piece of paper I'm going to sit it right on top, trying to get it in the middle. Now, you can tape it down if you so choose to. I'm just going to go with the flow <laughs> and see what comes up. So I did get a pencil. Let me move you guys over here. This corner here. And get a feel for what I'm doing. It's been a minute. <laughs> I kind of wish it was a little more like narrow this is kind of thick now I got some of that pink so now what I'm gonna do is go in for the final kill I don't really need this white border on here but I just want to keep it 
So we're gonna go. It looks kind of white. Hard to keep it. It's hard to get a thin line. Gonna go in with the lips. I'm gonna do this one and keep the boob series going um, and then I'm going to do this one on the bigger frame so I'm gonna do this one Never stop. I've been stressed out watching both these hands around the clock with my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot. Whole world getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours, do it how you want. You've been waiting here for too long, think it's time for you to move on. Realize that there's real lies, and these real times will be strong. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my eyes, watching all this time flip. Now I realize you know what I mean. Forty minutes to complete all of this. Um, if that, I just know my camera went off. So I'm just going to kind of fasten it back. Is it everything I dreamed of? Is, is it? Absolutely. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Again, you can definitely do a border 
you know, to define your area more. I don't want to do that. I like it like this. I think it's very simplistic and very, very pretty. So let me just go on Snap and Insta and brag about this series that I just created with my inspiration, of course, coming from Pinterest. And the person who posted this, um, this one is actually original to Minimum Line Art um, on Instagram. Uh, all of these are actually. Actually, this one is, um, if I can reach it, Infinite Mo Noon, which is from Firm and Perky, I guess. Or maybe that's the title of it. And then the other three, I'm assuming, are, well, actually, look, I don't know. I think these two, one and two, are from Infinite Noon. And I think these are from Minimal Line on Instagram. So, um, but at the end of the day, all my inspiration came from Pinterest. Um, let me pause this really quick. All right, so I'm just about to frame the rest of these and that'll be a wrap. I'm going to try to play with the lights and see if I can get them to kind of work, I guess. Time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. When life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff, I use it all as motivation. But it's hard to have the patience. Have the patience. Watching time fly by Bye. might be the hardest thing I have to do in life. Frustrated. It doesn't even tell you how to cut it, but it tells you that you can cut it. So I don't want to cut it and then it doesn't work anymore. This is going to be interesting i'm kind of thinking if i should just have them really close together because they are going to be kind of close and have the lights i wanted each light a couple lights on each one though but i don't want to ruin this by any means i pay for it so after stepping all over my bed i have to remake it but um i just wanted to show y'all what i actually did so i did decide to use the strip lights because the party dots aren't like all right love so my camera actually died on me but i wanted to show you the final product however i'm probably gonna go get a cord line and just run that over there because look at me looking crazy but um it does have this white cord running down i did cut it um if you can see here those are the cut lines cut lines the copper colored ones so I just stripped it all along so it's very minimal you can't really tell until you see the cord so um, what I want to do is cover this in cord line however I did stick it to my bed here so with this here you can press um, power and it'll turn the lights on um, I think it's gonna be so beautiful at night and I will try to get a shot of that as well so then we're here I said with here so you can change the brightness with this button and then change the color with this button so that's pretty cool most of the time I'm probably just gonna be using the remote so here's the remote um, some of the comments said it didn't work for them but it does work here's the power button power on um, I mostly probably I'm gonna use this pink setting have some yellows um, getting into the orange greens well that's more so teal let's go to this green um, have some purple another like um, aqua and then white but like I said I'm probably just going to use this light pink most of the time um, it does have some options here where you can fade it uh, adjust the brightness of it try like the fading and all of that because I don't think I want to but just to show you has a flash option has a slow option um, fading option where it's just fading from color to color 
this is where it jumps from color to color and I'm just gonna put if you press any of the colors up here it'll just go back to solid so yeah once I make my bed and get my room together you guys will see the final product the last thing I have to do in here is redo my console table because I feel like it looks a little too I don't know it's just I want it to be a little more simplistic and still cute but that's above the bed finally got some art up there and it's something I really want the last thing for art is gonna be over here on this wall between the closet and the bathroom so that's gonna be the simple piece that I told you I wanted black background and it's gonna have the girl you know the frame or silhouette of a girl so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY this was really fun for me I'm probably gonna put this on my main page but I really, really want to start putting more on my secondary page. However, I just feel like I don't get enough love over there. So, yeah, but that's the way it came out. I love it so much. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. One thing that I love is that the lights are very minimalistic. So, right in here, where I'm pointing in between the spaces, you really can't see it you see it but you really don't it's not super duper <laughs> super duper it's not really gonna steal away your attention um coming oh i can't wait to show you guys the night shot so i'm gonna come over from this way where the pictures actually look a little more distinct you can actually see them a little better um i really really love this guys i really love the way it turned out as you can see over on the first picture over here I had to bring the light up a little bit sorry if it's shaky because I'm holding it with my left hand but I had to bring the light up a little bit just because of where I had to cut on the copper um, part of the strip but um, of course once you cut it it's not gonna work unless you reconnect it I do have connectors but they're not what I thought they would be for so um, I mean this is just what's gonna have to work for me and like I said for my camera die earlier I wanted to mention I decided to go ahead and do the strip lights because one I had already purchased them and I'm not really a big fan of returning things and two the party dots they don't have replaceable batteries so once they die they die and yeah I didn't want to um have to stick it up there and then have to find a way to turn it on because I think they said the button was at the bottom so I just was like I'm just gonna use these string lights and see how it comes out and it came out so nice and I know at night it's gonna be so pretty um yeah make it jump for y'all like I just think it's dope it's really really dope okay so I wanted to come in with my phone as well to give you what it looked like on here it definitely looks way better than um, on the camera just because of the exposure in the room well the darkness in the room and the exposure on the camera so yeah um, but it looks real dope I can see if I can focus um, again you can change the colors it has a set in where the colors will fade and just change slowly again where they'll change quickly um so yeah, overall solid product. I did cut it and it still works pretty nicely. Um, my actual goal was to keep it more so on the pinks, but I'm really feeling this blue down here, if I can get it. So yeah, that's what it turned out to be. I really love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful and sparked some type of creativity in you. And yeah, follow my other channel because more videos like this will now be on that channel.